But I tried tuning it and it went to, it broke it. Uh -oh. So I had to get a new string. So I think I'll just stick with it this way. I'm so blessed to have found this. It's a Cremona made in 2007, made in China. It's pretty. They make good instruments in China. Willem got his grand piano, a Chinese one. It won Piano of the Year for four years really? running. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it sounded a whole lot better than the Steinway or the um, Yamaha. It was a, a match with the Kawa, Kawa, Kawa something, Kawasaki or something. I think it was the one that was, just, it was the same as. But I liked it. Had really nice soft notes. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful piano. Sounds great. And with that hole in the in the wall, mm -hmm. right into our bedroom from the living room, it's so easy to hear it now. And I can say clap 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 clap, and he says thank you, thank you. <laughs> I try and say that after every time he plays uh -huh. something. He's amazing, but I don't really notice it because it's. It's the background music in my life, uh -huh. right? It's, I don't notice it. But, and he plays so many pieces he's writing. He, he wrote his variations, and he wrote the Valentines, and now he's writing some partitas. And they're very long. His Valentines, I think, is 20 minutes long. And it's very difficult. He can't play parts of it. He has uh -huh. to practice and practice and practice to get. And it's very beautiful. And then his Valentines he wrote for me. Oh, that's and they're very long too, at least 20 minutes long, uh -huh. maybe 45. But and that's very beautiful, and he'll practice that, and then he's writing these partitas, and so he's practicing the Valentines and the partitas, and I record a lot of what he plays, but I can't record what he's written until it's copyrighted. Oh my word! Because I don't want you know Somebody YouTube to steal it. Yeah, but. <clears throat> Actually, part of the copyright thing of YouTube might be that if you put it up, they own it. I don't know. I, I really, I didn't read the fine print. Mm -hmm. It's probably in yeah. there. Anyway, so, um, maybe not. But anyway, so I, I have a hard time telling which piece he's playing now. Because he plays them all so many times. Mm -hmm. And he's practicing Bach at the same time. And so, this Bach piece, I really like it number five or something, but he practices that, and he practices the other two and three, and parts of them, just parts of them all, and I don't know what's what anymore. <laughs> so when he starts to play, I'll say, what is that? Who's that? He says, that's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's Chopin, okay. <laughs> it's amazing that it, you know, how he plays, though. I love it. It is. It's so, I try so hard to record whenever he plays. Mm -hmm. I sit up, have my camera thing all like this, I set it up in the loft mm -hmm. so it looks down on him. And so I'm upstairs and I just hear him start playing, I dash around and I turn on the camera which is already there. Mm -hmm. You know, we played uh, classical music when Hayden was a baby. Uh -huh. They say it helps, you know, develop their brain. Mm -hmm. and yeah. My kids sure got classical music when they were so. developing. When they were in utero. What is it, dear? That's a beautiful little garden spot there. When you told me you were working on your yard, and I thought, yard? I thought it was all woods. What's there? But, and now I see where you've got stuff. Yeah, I got little, <laughs> little spots here. There and over here. <laughs> It looks so beautiful with the pine scroll down and it's all growing away. Do the deer come and eat your hostess? Mm -hmm. It's nice to see that they've been here. It's nice when you said, oh, there's deer have been here. I don't mind. I mean, you know, it's their love. All God's creatures. Yeah. And when they were here first and we are right. locked right down in their territory. This is like yeah. the Indians, you know. Mm -hmm. 
I'm amazed at how much Indian influence is in this area. Mm -hmm. All the names, Sati, oh, Nikuchi. We need to watch that thing about that tells me. You wouldn't believe the oh, Indian up here. Okay. It's awesome. Okay, we'll watch that later when mm -hmm. when we are inside. It is, it Maybe when it's dark out here and we don't want to be out here. I can't imagine not wanting to be out here. <laughs> So amazing that I mean, knowing you is such a blessing, mm -hmm. and this is echoey, which is another blessing, mm -hmm. and both of them at the same time. <laughs> I mean, that's just unheard of. I wish I'd met you when I was young. I know, I know. I thought of that. We could have done. We would have had a lot of fun. Right, you'd have come with me to the mountains and gone hiking on the mm -hmm. Appalachian. Yes. I would have done, I love stuff like that. I used to Walter Reed Hospital in Washington. That's about the only time I ever got to play in the woods. It was when Daddy would be in Walter Reed and uh, Mom would have to be at home with the kids. So I would stay down there with Daddy and I could go up. Back then, in the late 50s and stuff, kids didn't have to worry about it. I, we never did. So no, I never did. The, there were woods all around Walter Reed, and they had little benches and stuff and, and little gazebos and all. I would play for hours down there pretending I lived in the woods. I would pretend I lived in the woods. Did you? Oh, see? Oh, always. I'd go uh -huh. in the woods and I'd sit down there by the river. And I pretend I lived there. Yeah, that's what I do. And I made a garden down there. Mm -hmm. And I, I tell Daddy, I'd say, <clears throat> I tell him, when I get older, I get married, I'm going to live in the woods. And he'd say, Okay, in the woods, that's what you want. And I said, Um. Mm -hmm. Well, when he came back, uh, the house at, down in Gainesville is in the woods. And we got woods all around it. It's, and uh, so when he, first time he came, we were sitting out back. I said, see, Daddy, I live in the woods. <laughs> he said, yeah, I remember you always saying that. I live in the woods. I was so happy. Kate and I and Tracy, we could, we would spend a whole day just in, walking in the woods. We'd I know. some lunch. I know. I would, I would write on the blackboard in my mother's house. Gone to the river. Uh huh. Down at the river. Down at the river is what I would write, Nancy. Mm -hmm. And I every day or every, you know they never wondered where I was. When they wanted me, they'd come out and they'd ring the bell. Uh huh. Ring, <laughs> ring, <laughs> ring, and the whole neighborhood knew. <laughs> Can you? We gotta go on. <laughs> that was fun. There's nothing to do inside. You know, watch TV or something. I didn't want to be inside. My friend Becky across the road was adopted. And so we'd go over there and I wanted to play orphanage. <laughs> All three of those kids were adopted together. Oh my. So I wanted to play orphanage, orphanage and <laughs> their mother did not like me. <laughs> so the back porch was the orphanage. Oh, me. <laughs> oh. Oh, <dear. laughs> that is, that that is the bane of her existence. I was always grounded from her house. I was grounded <laughs> from Smith's. I had to go home. Oh. I could come over onto the property beside, which was Mowers, and I'd be right at the edge of the property, and I could talk to Becky until the mother came out and sent me away. Oh. But she'd be grounded from going to my house, and I was grounded from going to her house. <laughs> I mean, how can you get grounded if the neighbor grounds you? I know. <laughs> my parents never grounded me. We got sent to our room. Mm -hmm. I had one of my bedrooms, I had this cool bedroom, and I could, I went out on the roof. I could just, the roof was right outside the window, mm -hmm. you know, like right here. And so I would climb out on the roof, and I'd sit out on the roof and look out over the woods down at the river. <laughs> I did that a lot. But, you know, the roof was over the kitchen, mm -hmm. the dining room. We had room. a roof like that at Fort Belvoir, and uh, me and Harvey used to stay out on the roof. And 
we could kind of sneak down because it went over to our, like Linda Tunnell's because the apartment's all hooked together. So I could go over her roof. Oh, wow. Get in her window and we could go outside when I was on restriction. <laughs> when you were on restriction. That's um, it. I was on restriction from their house. That's I what stayed Becky's on mom. restriction. But I think, it too, I told Daddy and Mama one time, I said, I know why I was on restriction all the time. And I said, because I had to stay in and take care of the babies. <laughs> <laughs> it was I was in the house, I had babies. Mm. But we'd go down and play on the Potomac. Had the best time.